This is part five, the final tutorial in a series for Psychology 2301, covering the searching for case studies and case articles from psychology journals. When you search for cases, you'll want to start in one of the library's recommended psychology databases, Psychology and Behavioral Sciences Collection, or Social Sciences Full Text. And there is a third database that I would mention, Science Direct College Edition, which may be of use if you have trouble finding what you need in the first two databases. In the first text box that you get when you go to one of the database search screens, enter the disorder name that is your topic. You can use the technical term, or a larger disorder classification, or the more common terminology that is associated with the disorder. Here are some examples, anorexia nervosa, eating disorders, or anorexia. In the second text box, you're going to want to enter the specification that you're looking for case studies or case reports. So you'll want to enter the following text that I'm about to show you exactly as it is shown on the screen. Case with an asterisk, or case stud with an asterisk, or case report with an asterisk. The asterisk is in the place of the plural of each word. So you're specifying to the database that you want the word case or cases to match, case stud, study or case studies to match, or case report or case reports. Um, you don't have to write this down as you're watching the tutorial. This information is also on the research subject guide that has been included in your course. But let me show you an example of doing this type of search in Psychology and Behavioral Sciences Collection. Start from the library's homepage and click on Articles, Research, and More. And then choose a database by subject area or, or type and choose Psychology. And then go into Behavioral Sciences Collection. Be sure to click on Full Text and Peer Reviewed at the bottom of the screen where you limit your results. And then at the top of the screen, enter your dis disorder topic in the first box. And then as mentioned before, put in exactly what is shown to specify that you're looking for a case study. and then click search. If you don't find a lot of results, you do have the option at the previous search screen to take off the full text limiter. If you do that, you may have some search results where even though the article is not in its full text, it will give you an option to find out if we have the full text of the article in another database. And that will be shown by a link entitled Article Linker. You don't have to do that unless you do have trouble finding anything in your first initial searching because we may have other articles in other databases that just didn't come in full text in this particular database. And I'll show you an example of Article Linker. Here's an example right here. So that would give you the chance to find the full text somewhere else. But most people tend to rely on just what's in the database in full text by specifying that they want to limit their search to full text by indicating in that box. You can also do this same kind of searching in Social Sciences Full Text, which is the other recommended database for this class. Again, you'll go to Articles, Research, and More, and then choose Psychology under Subject Areas, and then choose Social Sciences Full Text. And you'll enter the same type of search with the disorder name first,
and then case or case study or case report indicating that you want the plural or singular of each word and then again click on full text and peer reviewed and then click start you really have to be sure to click on peer reviewed so that you're getting scholarly journals rather than magazines and then once you've done that search you can locate relevant articles within the results. A final database that I added to this tutorial is Science Direct College Edition. It primarily has scientific titles in it, but there are some psychology journals within our collection. When you go to the Science Direct search screen, click on Advanced Search and then under source choose subscribe sources and then under subject limit to psychology and then you'll type in your search terms much like in the other databases at the top of the screen so I'm going to show you how to get to Science Direct College Edition from articles research and more you're going to find it in the alphabetical listing of databases so choose the drop down box in which Science Direct would be located. And when you get to the search screen, click on Advanced Search. It's over here on the right. And again, choose Subscribed Sources. And then under Subject, choose Psychology. And then enter your search terms, the first with the disorder name at the top and then specifying that you want case reports. And then click search down in the green button. And then you will only get those titles that our library subscribes to that have the matching of the disorder name and case. This is the end of part 5 covering searching for case study articles. Thank you for viewing all of these tutorials and remember if you do need help you can contact me or some of the other librarians if you need assistance with doing your research and please also contact me if you have any suggestions for improvement of these tutorials.